<laughs> so sorry for that mess, but uh, it is what it is. How are you guys doing this evening? Today, damn, do you guys hear about that fire in Japan? 33 people died. It's crazy, man. Jesus, be careful out there. Anyways, today I was talking about, I want to talk about, as you can see from the title, how to overcome your fear of rejection. Now, Today in this world, a lot of guys are, you know, out there trying to, guys and women out there and trying to make new friends uh, and, you know, find a new girlfriend or find a girlfriend and, you know, get into a social social circle that you want to get into. Now, how to overcome your fear of rejection. Now, you may try and go and talk to someone and start breaking out in sweats, getting really nervous, you know, getting really fidgety, you know. It's natural. We're all human. And, you know, on this journey, you start getting the need to want to meet new people. Okay. Now, how do you go about doing that? How do you overcome the fear? Well, first of all, you have to actually hold yourself in high regard. And if you're aiming really high, which is really the best thing to do is to aim high for high quality people, is to just go ahead and dive into the deep end because... There's no other way to get out of it. There's no other way to get the snowball rolling. Now, you have to understand that, you know, we're all people. Some people are going to be looking at you and wanting to talk to you and get to know you as a person. They definitely might shake your hand. So you feel their sweaty palms. They're sweaty. They're nervous. They're fidgety because they like you. You may never even really even notice that some people want to talk to you as well. And they're just as nervous as yours, nervous about talking to people that maybe even that particular person or group of people. So you have to keep that in mind when you're, you know, going out trying to meet new people. You have to keep in mind that some people want to really meet you too. So instead of kind of shrugging your shoulders and just not going along with it, you know, definitely want to put your foot forward and try to engage uh, with the people. It's really, really scary at first, I know, because if you if you have the fear of rejection, but rejection, if you do get rejected, it's really a learning experience. You learn a lot about yourself when you get rejected. And the more you get rejected, the better for you, you know. Now, once you get used to actually getting rejected and you get this persona, you are able to talk to people a lot over and over again. People start to know who you are. You have to actually... Be aware of your surroundings and the other people that really want to talk to you who are missing out. Like you can't talk to everybody, but some people really, really be wanted to be part of that, be part of your selection. So if you're selecting people you want to talk to, understand that some people uh, are getting left out. Uh, the ones that are closest to you that you can notice, well, just kind of keep your eyes open for that as well. And, you know, just say hi, put your hands out and just start a conversation. It's really important and it's very good for you. And you grow as a person when you do so. Now, you have to put yourself in their shoes as well. They were nervous, or they may even be just as nervous as you. They may not be on this journey. They may never actually get to that point to go out there and talk to people. And if they're of the opposite sex, if they're a woman, it's really not in their nature sometimes to go out and talk to you. They may just throw you a bone, but then that's about it. And you have to engage on that. Um, and that's part of being a man. Um, Nothing sexual, but it has to be some kind of um, some type of uh, rapport built by you. Uh, fun, uh, informative, and engaging. And that's really part of it that uh, help help you grow as a person. It's very very professional and very social. Okay, now for you yourself before you even get into that. You're scared. You're sweaty in the palms. You're sweaty. That and and if you're feeling that uh, you're not ready, you don't have like the right car, the right amount of money. You're not dressed well enough. You don't have the expensive cologne. It's not what it's about. What you want to do, at least though, at the very least, is to invest in some good soap, a good deodorant, and maybe one bottle of cologne. Like, these are like the essentials. Okay. 
you don't have to really dress all up no 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 but you have to try a little bit so you have some kind of edge on you something about you that um that, that, that'll enable you to pass a lot of shit tests okay just have something about you you don't have to go crazy all out but you have to have a certain amount of style a little bit not a lot of money spend like 10 bucks nothing more just change one or two things about your style or just keep the same style but invest in some soap invest in some shampoo deodorant and one bottle of cologne and lotion and, and, and toothpaste and toothbrush if you don't have any of those you have to have all of those so maybe i'd say if you're if your hygiene is low like really low you're gonna want to have to put away like 40 to 50 dollars to get all of what i just said those are the mandatory things to get otherwise people can be very very how can i put it very very crass very mean and if you don't have any of those they'll let you know okay so get those covered and if you have those covered already then you're already in the game you're already part of society now uh, the cologne is not needed that's just gives you that edge uh, like i said style it just gives you a little bit of edge you don't have to ch go changing everything no just just what i just said now if you're already at where you're at and you add that to your rep you know repertoire you're gonna you're gonna be at a, a lot higher level okay and the people who do like you as well already will like you more because they can sense that you're changing things about yourself and adding more to you now that may not even help you get over your fear of rejection because rejection will come no matter what you do no matter what you drag no matter who you are you're going to get rejection be it in per in person online you're gonna you're gonna get it okay and you have to get learn to just just blast through it just smash through those doors of rejection not necessarily when you get rejected allow it to happen and give the person space you don't want to just keep being persistent um you, you can be persistent to a certain extent but you don't want to be that persistent guy if you get rejected you can try like one more time in a very slight lightweight and then just kind of pull back and then and that's about it but yeah no no when you're getting no when you're getting rejected and know how to accept it because sometimes i see people well they'll approach someone um a girl a lot of times it's a girl and then if she just rejects them or just kind of says you know i you know i have a you know i don't really want to talk and they're just like bitch i didn't want to talk to you anyways and i see that quite often and it's really sad that um, people get angry they're like poor sports because this is this is the game like obviously you would want to have all the coolest friends all the high quality friends but that's just not how life is you can't have it all you're gonna have to have what you can get but you can't get what you can what you're what you deserve if you don't go after it so you have to prepare yourself for battle prepare yourself to go after it and know when you get rejected to get people space and then learn from your rejections you can't change it because sometimes it'd be it'll be something that you can't change the color of your skin the way you smell, the way you look, the way your hair is cut. It could be a multitude of things that you can't, that are outside of your control. And, you know, that's just fine. That's okay. You need to learn from yourself, but don't stop and don't change what you want. You want what you want. There's a lot of people in this world. Just keep going after it and you'll get it. You'll get it. Like say out of 10, you'll probably get like eight to seven to eight out of 10 every single time that's a numbers game if you just keep trying and it's not just for girls i mean it's for social like getting into a group of friends that you want that's just high quality people okay you want to know you want to start knowing some smarter people you're gonna to have to engage with those groups of people you want to know some better looking people better looking than yourselves like like a group of women that are really good looking like some models um, you want to do business with models, go ahead and try to do it. You want to uh, know uh, movie stars, go ahead and try to do it. You want to know rapper singers, go ahead and try and talk to them. You want to know a director of a movies, go ahead and try and talk to them. You have to, you have to choose what you want and then shoot for it. Keep trying because there's a lot of different people and out of a whole, out of a, out of a whole spectrum of that portion of 
group of people you want, say it be directors, musicians, uh, women. And if you're talking to at least a hundred, which I know you probably never done, done before, I, I've done that you now. If you've never done that before, then you haven't even exhausted yourself to say that um, you're starting to get used to it. You have to actually put your, you have to actually put yourself out there, and that nervous feeling that you have once you're getting sweaty and you're and you're getting your hands are getting sweaty. That's a good thing. Don't worry about how you stink because the, the deodorant will do its work. The cologne will mix with your scent and your pheromones. It'll it'll even project more, and it's very flattering when someone is nervous. Other people can tell, and it's very flattering when they see that. So don't worry about your your initial like. Can they see if I'm scared? Can they see if I'm scared? That voice in your head. You have to take over that voice in your head and just start communicating. Well, hold on a second. Let me see if this is still running. Yeah, beautiful. So yeah. So guys, once you're in that once you're in that position and you're able to start, you know, start this process, get over your fears, you'll see your life change right before your eyes. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments section below. And you guys have a fantastic day. Peace.